So the Kano State government have uh, given out a press statement saying they reverted to the 18,000 naira minimum which simply because they are unable to pay the current 30,000 naira as a result of the economic restrictions. They, they don't have the ability to make these payments and also the dwindling federal allocation is, is, um, is not forthcoming. So in your view, do you think it's right for Labour to begin to pick this up or to be more understanding of the government at this time? Kano State, uh, it was a record. It's one of the first states in the federation that started uh, implementing the new minimum wage with even an addition of 600 naira above the... What I'm trying to say is in 30,600 naira was the lowest pay in the state instead of 30,000. We started the implementation in December without any hesitation until in the month of May when the uh, issue of COVID-19 pandemic uh, bite harder and uh, there is this issue of lockdown. So this is not the first time government has attempted this. It was done last year, around May, where government tried to de uh, deduct some amount from workers' salaries. Is government in Kano genuinely stressed financially? Yeah. I think uh, it is very hard for the labor leaders to understand the situation the government is. Because I could recall in that of the months of May, June and July, even the political open holders where the salary were reduced to 50%. So that clearly shows that the government has no money. But uh, we do, after this, our press uh, briefing, and then we wrote a letter to the government, and I want to assure you that discussion has already commenced between the organized labor and the government. And the Commissioner of Information uh, is on air uh, on press briefing that the government is not trying to revert back to 18,000 minimum wage. They are still on the new minimum wage of 30,600. But it's only the situation that warranted this deduction. But discussion is ongoing with government.